Catherine and Abby are my heroes. They believed in the existence of the paranormal when it wasn't even cool. Ditto. Before meeting those ladies, I only had myself to look up to. Huh. Looks like they're still out there making supernatural herstory. Check this photo they just sent. Holy trap. I recognize those ghosts they caught. They're all famous assassins. Haunting the White House? They must have stopped them before they assassinated the president. So while they're in Washington saving the free world, we sit here looking at selfies of them saving the free world? Hmm, what's wrong with this picture? Don't worry. Before they come back, we'll get our chance to vaporize vengeful Class 4 apparitions, too. When you gonna call? Guys, turn on the news, quick! There's something strange, right here, in the neighborhood. You better not be sweating because you forgot my crab rangoon. That fried stuff will kill you. I strap an unlicensed nuclear pack on my back and you think a wonton's gonna take me down. He's there on the scene. Sir, you were the first person to see what happened. Can you describe it to us? There's this great big giant spiral in the rip, and ghost starts flying out of it. You know, like... <laughs> I mean, it's a stuff of nightmares. You heard it here first, New York. We got our first mission, Ghostbusters. Everyone ready to save this city from imminent death and destruction just like our foremothers? Yes, yes we, we are! are. Or... Then let's show them what we're made of. Joker! Ghostbusters, can we lift your spirits? Yes, please. Uh, my name is Cecil Bellskin, and I'm the curator of the Aldridge Museum. I'm afraid we have a ghost situation again. Don't be afraid. Not all ghosts are evil. These might be friendly. Gertrude Aldridge has returned. Gertrude Aldridge? She's the worst. Not even Aaron and Abby could catch her. She's that rich guy's daughter who wiped out all the help, so they locked her away for the rest of her life, right? Yes, yes. You know your history. Now you must do something before she destroys the museum and everything in it. Including me. I'd say, don't worry, but you sound like a worrier. Don't worry. We're on our way. Well, let's hope Gertrude doesn't consider us the help. Girl's got some extreme violent tendencies towards menial laborers. Keep talking and you're no help. Come on, let's go get her. Ghostbusters, can I take your order? I am Montgomery Strange. Strange name. I prefer Montgomery. You must come to the cemetery immediately. The ghost of Marie DeVoe has risen from her vault. Vault? Must be St. Louis Cemetery. Indeed. I am in charge of supervising all of the mausoleums. Lucky for us, you're not so great at your job. And we're spectacular at ours. Clearly you're unaware that in her day, Marie DeVoe led one of the most vicious, ruthless gangs in the city. We got some EMF interference. Is she on the line? She died in the 1920s. I doubt she knows how to use a cell phone. Doesn't need to. The activity field from the other side has the power to fluctuate energy levels and break in on a call. It can also mess up DVR recordings in the last five minutes. Hate that. You need to come here and stop her. Before it's too late. Too late for what? Too late for... <laughs> for paying his cell bill? Weird. We better check it out. Ghostbusters, where the paranormal is normal. You guys gotta get over here now. River and I dared each other to sneak into the old abandoned sanitarium, and we saw a ghost. Hey, you know I hate labels. Right. Uh, we saw a ghost-like spiritual being of some kind. So you broke into the nut house and saw something crazy. Makes sense. <laughs> That's not what Farty sounded like. More like this. <laughs> Sounds like the same ghost Patty and the lady saw in the subway. Interesting. And if my calculations are right, the sanitarium is located on the same ley line with Aldrich Manor. Your calculations are always right. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> now, can you guys describe Sparky's dimensions so we know the exact amount of cartridges necessary for our dielectric laser accelerators to ensure instant vaporization? Whoa, you're not gonna hurt him, are you? When he was alive, they electroshocked his brain 66 times. So we're not 
not into violence, man. Uh-uh, no way. Even if he is whacked out of his mind and already dead. Relax. As an environmentalist and professional specter inspector, I promise that we will only use safe, organically certified weapons when we finally nab Sparky. My colleague means when we humanely escort him into our warm and cozy ghost trap. Great. Good to hear. Ghostbusters, caller number four, you're on the air. Anthony Capuso here. I got an important job for you, people. Could you, I mean, you, tell us uh, more about this potential assignment, sir? Like, did you experience a residual poltergeist, demonic entity, or, oh, better yet, a crisis apparition? An apple what? You hear that infrasound? EVP or paranormal phenomenon? Look, I don't know anything about that noise. I'm the foreman on that Chinese theater expansion, right? My crew got chased out of the tunnels by something real spooky, and let me tell you, it was not happening. Sounds like a class 5 spectral manifestation of negative human emotion in non-human form. Similar to the rogue spirit Aaron, Abby, and Holtzman spotted at the concert. Precisely. Yeah, spooky score. Oh, you dudes are scaring me. And Anthony Caposo don't scare so easy. Sorry, sir. We just get overly excited about confronting a life-threatening protoplasmic demon. We like a real challenge. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, I get it. Like if a guy in my crew borrows a duel and doesn't put it back, it's a real challenge not to nail his ears to the wall. We assure you, Mr. Caposo, we will take care of everything. Yeah, I happen to like my ears. That's what I want to hear. Now get over here, now! Ghostbusters, make it quick. Our time is slime. Why, you ill-mannered minion. You are speaking to Morgan Belford. Belford? As in those fancy hotels with free Wi-Fi and your own robot butler? Always wanted to stay in one. Great. Uh, now let's get back to the real world. There's a dead lady haunting my Queen Charlotte Hotel. A ghost is rocking your boat. We'll fix that. Not a ghost, you glorified janitor. Legendary ballroom singer Ruby D'Amore, also known as the Lady in White. A full-bodied female historical haunting? Sweet! I'll get my camera and IR light. The fifth cataclysm. Rowan's return. Fifth cataclysm? Rowan's return? You mean somehow Rowan made his way back to New York? That can't be good. We'll have to find him, or he's sure to find us. I've been mapping out all the calls coming in, and I bet the Queen Charlotte is in the same ley line with the others. Ley line? Cataclysm? Don't you exterminate his speak English. Sorry. Ley lines are a hidden network of supernatural energy lines running across the Earth. I track them for fun. Know what I do for fun? Hang up on people who waste my time with technical ghost jargon. Now go to my hotel and stop that banshee. Hey, you don't have to twist my proton wand. Who doesn't want to stop a banshee? Ghostbusters. Yes, Mom, it's a real word. This is Mayor Bradley in the city of New York. Need your help. Sure thing, Mayor. Abby and the rest of the team are on their own mission. But we're happy to help. Oh, fine. It's really just a small private matter anyway. Someone spot a ghost in a mirror or hear a spirit banging around an attic? No. Or like a giant rift the size of a football stadium is reopening in the middle of Central Park. Uh, that's not small or private. Hey, let's not blow this minor incident out of proportion and worry my public unnecessarily. I may not be the expert of the group, but I'd say that an unearthly Grand Canyon-sized portal is something for your people to worry about. I give you my word, if you fix this little pickle, you will become anonymous heroes and I will take all the credit. It's a win-win. You know, it's amazing how you have such a kind, sweet, yet deceptive way of saying something completely self-serving. You should run for president. Pull this off without destroying the entire city, and I just might. Do not try to impede my transition as the last group of Ghostbusters had. Instead, take the pleasure of watching my ascent to return of destiny. Rowan? Pass. 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 And I will obliterate you and all of humanity. Seriously, dude? You haven't got a chance against our ingenuity, wit, or well collimated particle beams. We're totally gonna stop you. You heard them. Totally. 
Later, Rowan. Translation? Never again, you end-of-the-world-loving stalker freak! Well, the ladies should be back from Washington by now. Too bad they missed all the fun. Too bad for them? They had their turn. This time, we got to off the ghost and save the city so the mayor can take all the credit. Yeah! What do we do now? What else? A ridiculous-looking victory jump and then freeze.